The next question is 3y cubed plus 2y squared minus y minus 5 over y squared plus 2y plus 1. This question is very different from other questions because as you see, the numerator leading degree is bigger than denominator leading degree here. So before we are setting up uh, some other previous questions, some form like this or like that, we need to make a division so that the numerator factor is smaller than the denominators. Okay? So most well-known method is uh, long division. So I'm using long division method and then find the quotient and dividend and then we will decomp decomposite the remaining uh, remainder part as a partial fraction. Okay? So look at please. 3y cubed plus 2y squared minus y minus 5 divided by y squared plus 2y plus 1. Okay. So just compare the leading term here. Then we can put 3y then become 3y cube plus 6y square plus 3y and then we subtract then this becomes now this sign becomes negative and negative here so negative 4y square minus 4y minus 5 since the leading degree are equal to each other we can do one more time so minus 4 then negative 4y square minus 8y minus 4 and we subtract and this is gone and sign change here so remainder becomes 4y minus 1 as you see this last term is smaller than this divisor so so far we can write this answer as 3y minus 4 plus 4y minus 1 over y squared plus 2y plus 1. So this is our quotient already, so you don't do anything. But this part, the remainder part, we can find a partial fraction for that. So uh, as we did always all, all the time, so you need the factoring on the denominator. So so far I'm gonna focus on only this part and then later I'm gonna combine with this quotient. So this becomes 4y minus 1 over y squared plus 2y plus 1. I factoring out the denominator then this become 4y minus 1 over y plus 1 squared. Therefore, this fraction can be written as a over y plus 1 plus b over y plus 1 square. Multiply LCD. So what's the LCD in this case? Yes, LCD equal to y plus 1 square. So we multiply this out. Then this becomes 4y minus 1 equal to a y plus 1 plus b. 
Now, since p is form as constant, and then if you plug here y equal to negative 1, this term becomes 0. So I'm going to input negative 1 into y and find the b first. So let y equal to negative 1, then 4 times negative 1 minus 1 equal to 0 plus b. So negative 4 minus 1 equal to b, which means b equal to negative 5. So we found it. Now, I'm going to replace negative 5 into b here and then expand and find the value for a. So this becomes 4y minus 1 equal to ay plus a minus 5 now because b equals negative 5. Just set up the light term form, then 4 equal to a, or you can make negative 1 equal to a minus 5. You can use either equation. But since we have this already, a equal to 4, why don't we accept that, right? So we found a equal to 4 and b equal to negative 5. Okay. So now I'm going to just rewrite a equal to 4, b equal to negative 5. But don't forget we have this quotient already. Therefore, I'm going to write here for you. So erase this part. So this rational expression becomes 3y minus 4 plus 4 over y plus 1 minus 5 over y plus 1 square. That's the answer for this rational expression's partial fractions. Thank you.